Top 10 Most Important Animals Humans would not exist without these animals. We always hear about some species we need to save, but have you ever thought why? The animals play many roles in preserving the survival of human beings and the planet. We got the benefits from the services of these creatures for free. Here's the list of top 10 most important animals for human survival. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Bees Climate change is another reason. As Defenders of Wildlife explains, shifting temperature and precipitation patterns alter the distribution of plants and their flowering times. This makes it difficult for bees to receive proper nourishment. Regardless of the cause of their demise, diminishing bee populations are a major threat to human survival. For starters, bees are the first farmer in the world. Bees are critical to safeguarding the global food supply by transporting pollen between flowers and crops. Bees are responsible for producing many important crops that humans enjoy daily. In the United States, bees pollinate more than 90 commercial crops. These crops include nuts, fruits, and vegetables. All the working bees are female. You can thank bees for one of every three bites of food you eat in your lifetime. It may seem counterintuitive to care about bugs, but bees are a critical part of human survival. Number 9. Plankton We might not be able to see plankton, or even recognize it if shown an image, but these often tiny, ocean-dwelling organisms are an essential part of our lives. From the food we eat to the air we breathe, plankton help produce and sustain all life on Earth. But increasing greenhouse gas emissions and the acidification of our oceans pose a huge threat to these vital creatures, leading to dire consequences for life in the water and on land. Whales, sharks, seals, and fish might be the most conspicuous marine creatures, but they make up a very small part of the biomass in our oceans. About 95% is formed by plankton. Trees, shrubs, grasses, and other land plants are often thought of as our main source of oxygen but phytoplankton generate as much oxygen as all of these plants combined. Phytoplankton contain chlorophyll, which harnesses the sun's energy and converts carbon dioxide into compounds that form the tissue of their body. Oxygen is created as a byproduct of this process, which means that plankton aren't just an important food source for marine life and subsequently humans, but they also allow us to breathe. Number 8. Termites Though they destroy our homes and are responsible for billions of dollars needed for annual repairs, termites are far more beneficial than harmful to humans. Though sometimes called white ants, termites and ants are different species, but they are similarly important. A termite's diet is based upon roots, wood, bark, and stems. How should they know your house is off limits? Termites are detrivores and decomposers, meaning they consume decomposing plant matter and play vital roles in recycling ecosystem energy as well as in balancing biogeochemical cycles. Unlike other detrivores, the termite gut is unique in that it contains microorganisms that break down cellulose, building blocks for plants, which is indigestible without this symbiotic relationship. Think about it. What would we do without termites to clean up all the decomposing material? We might drown in cellulose-based litter, like autumn leaves and tree branches. Number 7. Bats Bats can be found in almost all parts of the world and in most regions of the United States. In general, bats seek out a variety of daytime retreats, such as caves, rock crevices, old buildings, bridges, mines, and trees. Bats are very important animals in ecosystems all over the world. In many places of the world, mosquitoes are vectors of deadly diseases, such as malaria and dengue fever. A single brown bat can eat up to a thousand mosquitoes in one hour. Bats eat lots of insects. Farmers like bats because they can use fewer pesticides in their crops, which save the farmers lots of money. In the tropics, fruit and nectar-eating bats are important for dispersing seeds and pollinating flowers. Yes, bats also help distribute the seeds of these important plants, so they can reproduce and create more fruit for us humans to eat and enjoy. Without pollinating and seed-dispersing bats, many ecosystems would gradually die. Bats can stay up to 20 years. It has got full right to be here on the list of top 10 animals that humans need to survive. Number 6. Frog Most frogs require suitable habitats in both the terrestrial and aquatic environments, and a permeable skin that can easily absorb toxic chemicals. These traits make frogs especially susceptible to environmental disturbances, and thus frogs are considered accurate indicators of environmental stress. 
Tadpoles keep waterways clean by feeding on algae. Adult frogs eat large quantities of insects, including disease vectors that can transmit fatal illnesses to humans, i.e. mosquitoes slash malaria. Frogs also serve as an important food source to a diverse array of predators, including dragonflies, fish, snakes, birds, beetles, centipedes, and even monkeys. Frogs produce a wide array of skin secretions, many of which have significant potential to improve human health through their use as pharmaceuticals. Approximately 10% of Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine have resulted from investigations that used frogs. Though frogs not as effective as bats, they do help in control of insects. These short-bodied tailless amphibians act as a food source for many carnivorous species and maintain balanced ecosystems. Number 5. Fish Fish feed off fish eggs, mollusks, other fish, aquatic plants, algae, water birds, turtles, zooplankton, terrestrial insects, frogs, snakes, and mice. In some species, the females and males have bodies with a different shape or different coloring. In other species, we can't find a visible difference. The fish may help to reduce climate change impacts with their excrement. The excrement of fish can significantly reduce the ocean's acidity. In maintaining an ocean's delicate pH balance, the waste of fish floats to the water surface and ultimately dissolves. So they create carbon dioxide that helps to form the ocean's acidity. Fish are amongst the healthiest foods on the planet. They provide more than 1 billion poor people with most of their daily animal protein. Fishes also produce some byproducts, such as fish oil, fish manure, and fish glue. Overfishing and habitat destructions are the biggest threats to them. Thus, it holds a position in one of the animals that humans need to survive. Number 4. Earthworms Earthworms are great soil engineers. As they move through the soil, earthworms loosen and mix it up, helping to aerate and drain it. This brings nutrients to the surface, making the soil more fertile, and help preventing flood and erosion. Juicy earthworms are an important food source. They are protein-rich and feed a number of animals, such as the European badger. Earthworms can also repair damaged soil and may provide solutions to man-made problems. Research suggests that earthworms could help to clean up land contaminated with toxic heavy metals, such as lead. For many years, people are putting or throwing out the waste straight into the garbage disposal, but today, they have started worm composting systems. Besides, a worm composting system's usage can create excellent fertilizer for a garden and other plants. Number 3. Primates These cute creatures aren't just a wonderful economic earner for tourism ventures or our closest biological link. With over 300 different species in the world, primates provide an important role in maintaining tropical and subtropical forests. Primates' dung droppings plant the seeds for the trees of tomorrow and keep these forests growing and healthy. Without such ecosystems, we would be without a permanent source of carbon. Tropical rainforests also influence global rainfall patterns. If there are fewer trees in these rainforests, less moisture goes into the atmosphere, rainfall is reduced, and water supplies decline. Number 2. Ants Ants aid in decomposition and turn up more soil than earthworms. When ants dig tunnels, they aerate the soil and recycle nutrients. This activity is ecologically crucial in maintaining healthy soil for plant food growth. Ants even help reduce the use of chemical fertilizers and the need for irrigation. A 2011 study concluded that in dry climates, ants and termites increased wheat crop yields by 36%. Ants sometimes travel far distances with seeds, granting plants their desired dispersal goal for less light, space, nutrition, and water competition with other plants. Why would ants be so kind? Ants enjoy consuming aleosomes, small structures on the outer surface of seeds without harming the plant. You might have thought ants were pests, but there are insects far peskier than ants. Fly, flea, and bedbug eggs, larvae, or nymphs are delicacies for many ants. Fleas can be host to parasites, which could affect you. In some countries, flies can carry deadly parasites, so by keeping the populations in balance, ants are saving people. Number 1. Birds Birds are important for environment as well as for human beings. They play a vital role in every living thing present on Earth. Birds are important members of many ecosystems. They play a vital role in controlling pests, acting as pollinators, and maintaining island ecology. In addition, birds are important to humans in many ways, such as servicing as a source of food and providing fertilizer in agricultural settings, etc. They bring plants back to ecosystem that has been destroyed 
and also carry them in New Islands. Can you think if birds are not here, so what happened? Without birds, insect population will increase rapidly because birds eat insects. They are also known as environment cleaners. Like vultures, they eat decayed bodies, which can harm environment. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video, then hit the subscribe button to never miss out on any of our videos. See you next time.